This meeting is being recorded. What's happening? Andy here. I am joined today by two guys. I got Keith Nelson Jr. and Phil Vera of Open Text. How are we doing, boys? We're doing good. Got my coffee for our conversation. So yes. uh, ready to go. Yes, we got a little coffee talk we're doing today. I, I, I too have my um, mug from uh, this is where I started my roots. This was uh, my first sales job selling for ADS Facts in the Washington, D.C. area. Uh, where are you guys today? Keith, why don't you start off? Where are you today? I'm close to D.C. I, I'm in Arlington, Virginia, just outside. And I, I come from the government. So they they didn't arm us with a lot, lot of uh, fancy uh, coffee mugs uh, there. So. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's nice outside. It's not super hot. Well, that's where I started my career. So if it's not hot down there right now, you are dodging a bullet. And Phil, where are you today? I'm actually in Richmond, Virginia. So a couple hours outside of uh, where you worked before. And I know those folks uh, because I used to own Edge Office Solutions in Alexandria. And I know Mark Durlum yes. and he's still in the business. So uh, yeah, that's uh, Oh, what a small world. Cool. Mark was my sales manager. Mark was the guy who, uh, you know, hired me for my first sales job, my first job in this industry. If you don't, you don't count working for my dad when I was a little guy. Um, but enough of this. I don't want to waste all our time talking about my past. I want to talk about open text and talk about what you guys have been working on. Um, coffee talk today. The topic I wanted to discuss with you guys was uh, vertical market selling, right? So, you know, there's, there's uh, no secret that, that our industry is divided up into lots of different pods. And one of the ones I think um, the reason we have Keith on here, no secret, focusing on, uh, on state and local government, state and local. And uh, so, so maybe we can spend some time talking about that and some opportunities down there. Um, before we do that, just a quick step back. Why don't, uh, Phil, why don't you just give us a, over, just a quick overview on who is Open Text? Yeah, so we're an information management company. We've got a lot of different technology. We've actually uh, recently, uh, we just acquired a company called Zix, which one is the gold standard in encrypted email and cloud backup. That's pretty exciting news that we're helping with. And I work primarily in what we call our on-demand messaging unit, um, where we sell fax, uh, cloud fax, or on-premise fax server solutions, Xmedia's fax, and write fax, and fax to mail, and uh, um, a lot of people are going hybrid with uh, write fax connect as well, and, and the XM fax product. So that's where I primarily focus. Cool, cool. And so... We're going to spend a little bit of time uh, maybe taking a deep dive into, into some uh, state and local, government, state and local. Why don't you, uh, Keith, get, give us a little bit about your background, what you do down there outside of the Beltway or inside, really inside the Beltway, probably, yeah, uh, or all around the Beltway. It's inside the Beltway. It's, it's anywhere. Um, yeah, I, I joined Open Text relatively, relatively recently. I'm an industry uh, senior strategist for global public sector. So that's uh, federal and SLED internationally. Um, but my, my uh, previous background, I worked for a, a 7 billion uh, cap um, startup in, in robotics process automation, doing a similar role for them and help them grow their uh, government and uh, state and local federal business. And um, before that, I worked in the U.S. government um, at various uh, departments, worked in you know, as a CFO, as a human capital officer, as a chief procurement officer, as well as CIO and, and research and development. Um, and um, that was at the US, that was at Department of Transportation most recently, which is, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a big player and doing a lot with infrastructure right now. Um, and certainly understand the uh, federal as well as the state and local uh, dynamics that go on. Um, so happy to be here at Open Text and happy to be here chatting with you. Well, excellent. Great to have you. Great to have you. You sound like a, a great find for open text um, for, for selling into this market and your location couldn't be better, I, I suppose. Um, let, let's talk about how, how, how do you sell? Like, how do you start this? How do you, you know, get background on your customers? What, what's the process like? Um, what kinds of things do you think coming from where you come from? You know, what type of research can salespeople do when they're when they're trying to maybe focus on, on this vertical. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, I, and this is more kind of the organically driven. Uh, so if you see uh, a particular prospect that you may not uh, currently have any sales with, but you say, this is a good target 
to shoot for. Um, this is what I would do. Um, try to read what they read. And if you're, if you're not sure what they read, just ask them in, in a conversation. Hey, what do you, what kind of trade uh, do you, what websites do you check out and see what they like to read. And uh, that can be a good uh, source of uh, good information, but then try to study how they purchase. And there, every, every state, every agency has, how do you do business with agency X or, or state X and, and make sure you, you review that and see whether it's a centralized purchasing office or if it's divided into, you know, the, the different departments and agencies doing their own purchasing. Um, and then figure out if there's a certifications or special, special designations where they kind of achieve, uh, you know, certain socioeconomic uh, status by going for a small business or, you know, service disabled veteran, women owned, any of that stuff. See if that's something they're they're very interested in and you know you might uh, partner partner with somebody if you're not uh, already in that in that category and then look at the language they use do they, are they talking duns numbers or nakes codes or nigb codes make sure you speak their language uh when you when you start uh coming to talk to them so when you're doing this research where are you doing this is this just google research is this are you um do you get a duns membership so you can do a little more of a deeper dive is it worth it to do that that type of research um publications you mentioned you know do you have any off the top of your head maybe that that you could think that are you know important publications in the state and government world remember we're talking about office equipment resellers that are you know sometimes a little more focused on the technology than than um maybe the customer's background and 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 so you know, um, just any, anything that you can give us would be, I'm sure, super helpful. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd certainly start with the websites. Um, yeah. Their, their websites often tell you, you know, really, really where to target. Um, a, a lot of them will have like their, uh, strate- you know, CI, the IT strategic plan. Definitely read that and see where uh, your products might fit in with that. Uh, they might have a technology modernization roadmap that they publish. Some of them are required to do this. Uh, some of them are just doing it to try to communicate with the vendor community uh, so that so that it's a better matchup. Uh, you know, some you know have their procurement outlooks. Which quarter do they anticipate some kind of uh, uh, you know um, RFP to be published? And so then you can find out their priorities, their challenges, where their investments are going to be. Um, and then your next step, I would say, is take your products and features, functionalities, and develop a capabilities document that, that matches. So, um, and, and keep that pretty simple. Don't go into to a deep, um, you know, e- e- every fine point of it. Just focus on the benefits of, of what, the, what the product can do, whether it's, a, you know, an MFP or CloudFax, keep it kind of, you know, single-minded and, and match it. I always, you know, when I was in a government chair, I always said, the best, um, uh, you know, uh, technology firms or, or consulting companies that came by connected the dots for me. They said, oh, you've published this um, strategic plan. This is how to get there. Uh, we know a little bit about your environment and we know and we've done it somewhere else. So you don't have to ask that. Are you kind of learning on my dot? No, you, you did it already before. So the risk uh, lowers and um you know, then, then you're kind of more, more along the way. If you wait for an RFI to be published, that's okay. But the chances are that, that an incumbent or a competitor has shaped that RFI and you may be kind of really swimming uphill or swimming, you know, against the current to try to, to try to uh, impress them. Well, that's certainly it. Whoever controls the RFP is, is, you know, quite often in the, in the driver's seat of, of that, of that bid. Um, but back to this capability document, is this something that is, is this just something that you, a rep would keep with them or is this cust- you know, just, just something we show everybody in this vertical, or is this something that's customized to that specific customer, um, kind of matching what you said their needs, um, to your, capabilities, right? A capability statement, what, what you're able to provide for them. So are you matching this specifically to customers or is this done more for the vertical? It, I, I think sometimes you, you could do a little of both. I mean, if you're kind of doing a, a major kind of digital push uh, where you're pushing out a, a single email to a large audience, then you get, want to make it industry uh, oriented. But if you are targeting a, a particular 
agency or a particular uh, state, um, you should tailor it. You should, you should talk it up. You should say, this is why the state of X uh, should uh, talk to us. Um, and so to the extent of who you're, who you're targeting, you should tailor it as much as possible, just like you would tailor a resume um, for a particular job you might be applying for. Um, so it just depends on what you want to use it for. Well, now, how, you pick, how do you pick and choose, right? Because you've, you've got a company. Let, let's just look at your example, yourselves as an, as an example, right? You're, the number, we, we joked about this before we came on, online here, before we started recording, but you know, the, the number of products and services that OpenText um, sells, right, is, is enormous. And you know, you're not going to give these guys a list of everything that you do. How do you... How do you focus it? Or maybe you do. Is it maybe it, maybe you should give them a list? I, you tell me what what's what works best when you were sitting on the other side of that desk. You know mm -hmm. what did you like to see as far as when that document came over? I, I like to see? to see. Yeah, I like to see simple. Nothing nothing kind of uh, turned me off more than somebody says we can do everything. Um, if if you say I can do everything, just just whatever problem you got, I've got it. Uh, I don't like that kind of mechanic for my car, and I don't like that vendor for my technology solutions. Um, even even management consultants that use you know every you know technology in the world, they're not going to say they do everything. They're going to say we're we're specialists over here, which is they've already done the homework and they've mapped it to you know the the sore spot that uh, that's that's kind of lagging behind and that that maybe getting a, a an IG. Uh, finding against them because they're they're not particularly um, uh, up to up to speed there, but uh, you you got to keep in mind if you're targeting the decision maker for that particular state or local, uh, they may not be coming to a trade show, they may not be stopping by an exhibitor booth, um, they may be in their office, um, but on the other hand, they may be open to hearing from what that vendor community is up up to. So don't hesitate to reach out to those individuals. Well, who, let's you, let's let's um let's look at who those individuals are. Like in yeah. your experience, who who were those people? Is it a purchasing agent? Is it um you know is it an office manager? Sort of like in in, in a traditional SMB office space. Who who are who are the reps looking for? This is the fun part of public sector. It's kind of all of those guys, right? Um, because because the procurement world is its own little you know nest. And you gotta you gotta work with those folks, um, or they can they can scuttle things really quickly. So you gotta figure out what those procurement folks are tuned into. Um, you gotta you gotta pay attention to the the end user, and where where the business benefits come from. Um, you gotta know you know what what their current level of satisfaction is. If if they're if there's a vulnerable incumbent. That's a good place to go. And that just takes, that's never going to be online. That's going to be networking and having coffee and chatting with people about uh, what they're hearing in the hallways. And so there's got to be some, you know, some, all this kind of research, but it's really everyone. And that's, that's why I like public sector. It's very, very complicated. There is, usually it's not a straight line. Well, so let me let me ask you this, Phil. Let me ask you this. You, you've been uh, kind of uh, just sitting there, and, and I want to make sure that you, you we use you know use take take some uh, take some of your time and, and get some good questions here uh, in your direction. But um, you're the MFP guy. You're the copier person, right? You, you started your career down in, in, in the DC uh, Richmond area as well. Um, when, when you're a copier rep, you know, right, one of the hardest things for you to do, especially when you start focusing on verticals, whether it's this vertical or any of the verticals, is you don't want to sound stupid, right? I mean, you, 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 you don't want to start talking. You don't want to dive too deep because you're afraid that you're going to start getting into a conversation that's going to quickly go over your head. And now, you know, you went from looking like you knew what you were talking about to, I um, mean, over my head. So, you know, what's your <laughs> advice for this? If, if, a, if a dealer, you know, a lot of these dealers are medium-sized dealers. They don't have industry strategists on board, you know, who, who can, who can help you like Keith is, 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 is going to help, you know, what, what's the advice here? What, how do they keep from getting themselves, you know, digging a hole too deep for themselves and sounding foolish? Well, the, the first thing that I always uh, have said for many, many years is get the meeting. <laughs> so if, you know, that's half the battle is uh, navigating with a value proposition to actually get the meeting. But then now it comes down to being fully prepared for that meeting with a 
meaningful conversation. Now, I know myself, you know, when I had my, my uh, um, Xerox agency, you know, years, many moons ago, I, you know, I, I was the resource as long, you know, we don't have, we didn't have a lot of folks that were tailored and had a lot of industry experience in, you know, one particular, we were vertical market, we were sort of generalist and we learned as we closed deals. Now, one of the great things that we offer, because a lot of your, you know, the dealer community that's listening to this are either currently a partner with Open Text, or maybe they can be a partner with Open Text and use the resources that we have. Uh, we have dedicated folks that are account executives that have been in the MFP industry. We've got at least uh, you know, 150 years of experience on my team alone wow. of partner wow. managers that know how to close that kind of business and penetrate those markets. Then when you get into those more strategic and you need folks like Keith, well, Keith supports us which down the line supports our dealers that work with us and manufacturers that work with us. So those resources are readily available um, to help us and help them win. So I would say not just with open text, but with the other partners that you work with, they may, the larger ones are gonna have resources as well that you can tag on to to help you uh, be prepared for those deals. And Keith is, is you know, Public sector is our number two vertical behind healthcare. So we've got, you know, dedicated teams and lots of resources to penetrate that market because public sector buys a lot of our stuff. They need it. It's solving business problems. But then there's also folks that are peers to Keith that are in healthcare, manufacturing, you know, um, health sciences. So we've got every key vertical market covered with folks like Keith that basically are industry experts that can uh, can help resonate and help, you know, even that small dealer that might be in Alpharetta, Georgia or El Paso, you never know. Uh, so please use us. Well, having those resources is extremely valuable. I, I can tell you just because, you know, my past, you, you get in over your head, you want to have somebody from the mothership come and, you know, first of all, add some credibility to what you're doing, but then also maybe understand a little better and, and find some opportunities that you, you know, you as a, as a rep, you're going to have to be a jack of all trades when you're out there. Um, but to be able to rely on some expertise that sort of ups your, you know, ups your, your skin in the game, it really, it's very, very useful. Um, this was great. I really appreciate this. Uh, you maybe take some final comments, Keith, what do you, what do you think? Uh, wrapping this up, um, anything you'd like to share on, on, on this? Just, um, I, I think I, I liked what Phil had to say, and I'd like to echo that, you know, use the resources available, uh, consider me one. Um, I can, I've, I, I've done this long enough to be able to kind of, uh, you know, help guide uh, the folks uh, to, to where they can maybe have some success and, and have those, and Phil's right, get the meeting going, and then, uh, you know, uh, give them some value connect the dots for them. Very cool. Very cool. And to learn more about this, there's a, uh, an event coming up, um, not even two months away at this point, right? Open text world. Are you both going to be there? That's going to be in Las Vegas, October four through six. Are you both going? I will. We, we, yeah. We've got great resources that are going to be at that event at the Venetian in Las Vegas. So great venue, lots of fun there, I'm sure. Uh, and it, it, it should prove to be a very, very informative event with lots of uh, good resources there. Well, you're going to have your whole team in there. Um, uh, people will be able to learn not just about the facts component, but all the other uh, areas of open text. And, and you know, right. you can learn what a monster they are and, and the, all the other products and services they, that, you know, your dealership, uh, anybody's dealership might want to look into taking on. There's just a, a just a wealth of of programs that you guys offer, but that's open text world. That's where you're going to see it all. So I look forward to hopefully being at that event. We got to check some calendars and, and maybe I'll see you guys out there if not sooner, but um, thanks so much for taking the time to, to come on today and talk to us about this. This is uh, you know, focusing on the vertical markets is always very, very helpful. We tend to you know spend most of our time um, on, on healthcare and, and, and maybe some of the others that are, you know, the theme, the most obvious, but, but you know, well-funded um, and, and just as 
the size wise, you've got to look at state and local government. We've got a lot of dealers that are doing very, very well in it. So here's here's another platform, another program, another partner, if you will. Uh, if you haven't talked to the people at Open Text, contact me. I'll get you in touch with Phil and and Keith and and uh, you know these guys would be, love to talk to you more about your programs and, and what you're doing in facts. So guys, thank you so much for for taking the time today. Hey, thanks so much. Thanks, Andy. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.